we are promoting hair growth all 2024 hey lovelies and welcome back to the channel today i have for you this rosemary hair oil which will stimulate your hair growth and condition your hair let's go so i'll be measuring everything as best as i can just so you can have an idea of how much i use if you'd like to try this for yourself so of course the first ingredient is rosemary leaves i'm using fresh rosemary leaves 17 grams of it but if you have dried rosemary leaves you can definitely use it the next thing you want to do is wash your rosemary then add it to a container ensure that your rosemary it is dry before you add it to the container you do not want any water in this now i'm going to be adding a cup of oil and this oil will be a mix of olive oil and grapeseed oil so if you want to go half and half a quarter and three quarters it's all up to you so olive oil is known to moisturize and nourish your hair it also strengthens hair strands grapeseed oil promotes hair growth just the same and adds shine and smoothness now here i'm going in with jamaican black castor oil i didn't have much of it so this was about two tablespoons you could say now jamaican black castor oil as you may know it thickens hair and it does reduce hair breakage i can testify to this i have been using jamaican black castor oil since you know i was a little girl and i'm jamaican too so if you have more of this you can add around a half cup of the jamaican black castor oil because i really wanted this to strengthen my hair as well as you know stimulate hair growth so i would use more jamaican black castor oil if i had more but i'm gonna say this came out to a quarter cup not just two tablespoons a quarter cup of it i just used all of what was left so once you add that all in your container the next thing you're gonna do is add some jojoba oil now i received this jojoba oil from south africa as a gift and this is 100 milliliters of it i will try my best to leave the links to these oils in the description box now jojoba oil will balance your scalp oil production and it will also provide deep hydration i'm going to use all of it my wish was to cover the rosemary leaves but of course so i'm just trying to get everything out here but of course i didn't have enough oil to do that but it was also perfectly fine and while we're at it i just want to let you guys know that i am not a beauty technician or anything of the sort you should always consult your doctor before you add anything to your skin i'm showing you what works for me and what also works for others that i've given this to this works for us it might not work for you so if you have any concerns about any of the ingredients please consult old good old google or your doctor thank you very much now moving along you just need to mix everything together and then you are going to seal this you must have an airtight container for this because this is not something that you are gonna be using right away and the best thing about rosemary mixture is just how good it smells it smells amazing so your hair will not only reap the benefits but it will smell good so once you have everything in a container like this you're gonna want to seal it properly make sure no water can get into this and guys since we're here if you've made it this far in the video please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video now moving along once you have that in your container give it a nice little shake like me and then we are gonna try to infuse these oils and in order for us to do this we're gonna need to use the double boiler method if you do not have an infuser you should use the double boiler method this simply means you add your airtight container into another container which is a pot with boiling water 
boiling hot water and you're gonna leave that to sit usually you'd want the water to cover you know all of the oil but i'm just doing it how i can the best that i can the best that i can and you're going to allow everything you're going to allow this to get steamy then you're going to remove it and allow this to cool all the way down what this does is it allows the nutrients from the rosemary to blend thoroughly with the carrier oils and then the he the heat helps to release the active compounds in the rosemary leaves and it will also help to preserve the potency and freshness of the infused oils so you can have this for a long time all right so once we are finished with that and this cools all the way down this is the next day i'm going to add some essential oils to this the first essential oil that i'm adding is hemp oil you can add one test tube filled with the hemp oil this will help to strengthen your hair structure and prevent moisture loss next i'm going in with tea tree oil also one of the test tube full with this the tea tree oil because this will help to reduce scalp irritation and fight dandruff you want an oil that will help to strengthen your hair but do all, a lot of other things too right next thing is peppermint extract or peppermint essential oil you can add about 10 drops of this this will help to stimulate blood circulation which will, will in turn help your hair to grow and this will refresh your scalp you know how peppermint is with the scalp right so the thing with this oil is it won't be ready on the same day so i waited for this to cool down for a whole day then i added the essential oil then i left this for four days in a cool spot for this to infuse even more and then i got ready to transfer this to my applicator bottle right so that is how this so this is very potent very rich so what i do i don't use the same rosemary i i washed some rosemary got it nice and dry and added it to the container fresh rosemary remember if you have dried rosemary leaves you can also use that and then i just use a funnel and i add all that oil in my container now this container will give you about 200 to 150 ml of this good good stuff now with all the oil in the container i ended up adding some more oils the same oils after i fill this one to make another batch for my friend and trust me guys this oil was just so amazing it felt so good on my scalp it really helped the problem for me and my hair is now as healthy as it can possibly be and i'm working on you know length retention and so on for my hair feel free to adjust this as best as you like but this oil is definitely one that you can think about making because this will help as i said overall for your hair health with you know stimulating hair growth preventing stuff like dandruff and reducing hair loss so so that's it ladies and gents for my rosemary hair oil excellent oil so thank you guys so much for watching let me know in the comment section what you think about this oil as i leave as much as i can in the description box so that's it lovely people of course if you like the video don't forget to give the video a thumbs up share the video subscribe to the channel turn your post notifications on check out my other channel which is roma's kitchen please follow me on all socials that will be listed in the description box let's get our froze nice and healthy for 2024 and beyond this is the rosemary oil until next video